Hi, my name is Dr. Tal David from San Diego, and our case presentation today highlights repair of a bony bank heart lesion using a double row repair. Our patient's a 33-year-old active male who's a retired professional athlete. While playing, he had chronic shoulder subluxations, but never missed any time. Following his retirement, he was snowboarding with his family when he fell and dislocated his shoulder. He presented to the office with pain and apprehension. On physical examination, he presented with findings consistent with a recent dislocation. His range of motion was only limited by apprehension with overhead reaching. He had a positive apprehension and relocation signs and no signs of hyperlaxity. His preoperative MRI confirmed evidence of a bony bank card of the glenoid, as well as a small hill sacs lesion on the humeral head. I elected to repair his shoulder using a double row knotless length repair. The advantages being that a double row repair would maximize the bone to bone contact. The knotless feature allowed us to avoid the concerns related to knot security and not related chondrolysis. In addition, this repair can be performed using a single anterior working portal, while the second anchor can be inserted using a percutaneous kit. Double row repair of a bank heart lesion is not a new concept. It's been described clinically, and the biomechanical studies have demonstrated a double row repair provides two times better coverage of the labeled footprint as compared to a single row repair. My operative setup includes starting with an exam under anesthesia. The patient is then placed into a lateral decubitus position, standard arthroscopic portal for viewing and performing a diagnostic arthroscopy, and a single anterior portal low in the rotator interval through which an 825 cannula can be inserted. I'll oftentimes use a single accessory posterior lateral portal in addition to that to help with suture management if necessary. The instruments include use of the labral scorpion to pass the repair stitches and an Arthrex's percutaneous insertion kit. The anchors are 3.0 millimeter knotless suture tack anchors. On diagnostic arthroscopy, the patient's shoulder demonstrated a bank heart lesion, which is noted here. The shaver was used to free up the bony fragment, to breed the bony edges, and confirm that an anatomic reduction could be obtained. Percutaneous kit was then used to insert the medial portal, starting with a spinal needle, to localize the position. The drill guide can then be used to drill and insert the medial implant. The lateral implant is inserted in a standard fashion through the anterior portal, and then the repair stitch from the medial implant is shuttled through the lateral implant, and the repair stitch from the lateral implant shuttled through the medial implant. Viewing from the front, the repair stitch through the medial portal can be noted exiting the subscap. The repair stitch from the lateral portal can be noted exiting the anterior cannula, and these can then be tensioned to secure and reduce the bony fragment. The percutaneous cutter can then be used to cut the suture, and in this case, an extra implant was inserted inferiorly to provide three points of fixation and stabilize the bony fragment further. Postoperatively, the patient is placed into a sling for mobilization. We begin immediate hand, wrist, and elbow range of motion. We avoid passive range of motion beyond 30 degrees of external rotation for the first four to six weeks. Active range of motion is then commenced at four to six weeks following surgery. And in my practice, return to full activities is permitted at four months. So in summary, a double row knotless bank heart repair can be accomplished with a percutaneous anchor insertion and a single anterior working portal. After both anchors are inserted, the repairs can be tensioned under direct visualization. The tensionable knotless anchors are easily linked into a double row, which provides improved bone to bone contact by applying compression between each anchor location. And the final repair is knotless, reducing the risk of surrounding soft tissue damage. Thank you very much.